explore for a minute with our fraction tiles. Let's take a look at what exactly fractions are and how you can make a one with fractions. So here we have one hole right here. One whole piece. No fraction there. This is one half of that one. So I have one half and another half, <coughs> half, and that makes a whole. So one half and another one half makes two halves. This is the same as two over two, two halves. That's one half plus one half equals two halves. Okay, let's take another um, set of tiles. Let's look at our at one fifth. Well, we have one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth and another fifth and finally one more one fifth and that equals one. So let's take a look at that in terms of an algorithm. Let's write this out. So that would be one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. That's three, one, one, two, three. I still have two more to go. All right, plus one fifth plus one fifth. Now we know from adding and subtracting fractions that the denominator stays the same and we have one, two, three, four, five, five fifths here. One, two, three, four, five fifths and that equals one because ultimately fractions are division problems. This is two divided by two. Two divided by two is one. Five divided by five equals one. And here you can actually see it. If I have five one-fifth pieces, that's the same as one. And this will be true for every number you work with. Let's try, uh, let's try one-fourth. So I have one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. Four-fourths equals one. So here I have one-twelfth pieces. How many of these am I going to need to equal one? Twelve of them, because twelve over twelve equals one. Let's see if this works. So I have one, two, twelves, three, twelves, four, twelves, five, twelves, six, twelves, seven, twelves, eight, twelves, nine, twelves, let's see, ten, twelves, eleven, twelves, look at that, twelve, twelves equals one. Twelve divided by twelve equals one. This is going to work for every one of these fraction tiles. I'll need ten of these. Ten tenths to equal one. I'm going to need six of these. Six sixths equals one. I'm going to need three of these. Three threes equals one. Alright, let's move on and look at this in another shape. Because I don't want you to just imagine that fractions only come in lines. All right, so here we have one whole circle. That's one whole circle. Well, here I have half of that circle and another half, one half, two halves. Two halves equals one. They're the same. Okay, let's try that with um, we did one fifth already. Let's try that with one fourth. We have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, 
four fourths. Four fourths equals one. It's hard to keep them from moving around. Notice this. One half equals two fourths. Two fourths is the same as one half. That makes them equivalent fractions. Let's explore another equivalent fraction. Let's see. Um, I have, here I have one third. How many of these would I need to equal one? <clears throat> I would need three of them to equal one. But here we're gonna look at equivalent fractions for a second. One third is the exact same as two sixths. They're equivalent fractions. There's no difference between one third and two sixths. They're the same. Let's try another one. Let's try, let's try those two fourths again, which was equivalent to one half. How many one eighth pieces am I going to need to make one fourth? Two eighths. Two eighths equals one fourth. They're the same, they're equivalent fractions. How many one eighths would I need? Well, let's take this off so we don't get confused. Would I need to equal a half? or two-fourths, because a half and two-fourths are the same. I'd need one, two, three, four of them. So four-eighths equals a half. So let's write that out real quick. So four-eighths equals one-half. They're the same, they're equivalent. The way I would show this in an algorithm would be 4 eighths divided by, let's see, 4 over 4, our greatest common factor, equals 1 half. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2. Look at that, 4 eighths equals 1 half. Let's do one more of these. I have, I have these uh, the 2 fourths, let's stay with that 2 fourths. How many one-eighth pieces am I going to need? One, two, so that's two-eighths. So I started with two-fourths, three, four. So two-fourths equals four-eighths. Again, I would show that like this times two over two equals four eighths. Two fourths equals four eighths. We had to multiply by a, a um, uh, one, essentially a one, because two over two equals one, so I haven't changed its value. I just broke it into more pieces is all I did. And they, and, but they equal the same amount of that cookie that you cut up. All right, hopefully you'll get a chance to explore on your own.